Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel, and today I'm with Jamie Tour from Fjordland Exploration. How are you today, Jamie? Excellent. Thanks very much for having me, Chris. So Fjordland uh, focuses on Canadian projects, and maybe you can just outline for some investors who may not know your company uh, what projects you're working on these days. So we have, we have three projects in three different provinces in Canada. West to east, we have BC, uh, Mount Milligan project. We have Quebec. We have uh, the Renzi project, which is an old nickel mine. And in Labrador, in the far side of the country, we have uh, the South Boise Bay project, which is uh, a nickel project. So it seems that you're focusing on battery metals, is that correct? Fully battery metals. It's copper, nickel, uh, graphite, lithium. And your number one project is, is the Boise Bay project? I, the most advanced is, is, is the South Boise Bay project. It's had historically probably 30 or 40 million dollars spent on it. Um, it's the right terrain, it's the same terrain as the Boise Bay nickel mine, uh, which has you know, over 2% nickel in it, uh, run by Valet. Um, our rock is the same age. Uh, we're looking at uh, areas that have not been drilled to, to the extent that it should be drilled. But historically there was you know 12% nickel in some of the drill holes, and almost every hole has nickel in it. Well, that's high-grade nickel. And who are you partnered with there? We're partnered with uh, Robert Freeland's company, Ivanhoe Electric. Um, they have the right to earn in a 65% share by spending an additional $4 million uh, uh, this year or into next year. If they don't spend it, they have zero interest, and we still retain our 75% interest. So it's a very valuable asset for us. And there seems to be a little bit of activity at your Renzi project. What's going on there? Well, Renzi, we, uh, it's an old mine. It's a 1.5% combined nickel-copper mine that ran in the late 60s, early 70s. Um, it was shut down, There's probably, but there's still probably 500,000 tons of ore left in the lake itself. We're looking for other deposits outside around it so that we can build that up to you know, the two-plus uh, million ton range. We've flown it with uh, EM in the past, and we're looking at soil sampling to find other targets. We have targets. Uh, it's a matter of following up uh, with drilling on those. And what are a couple of the other projects you have that you're working on? So interestingly enough, with the Renzi deposit, when we drilled it last year, we had a wide intercepts of graphite in two of the holes. Um, and they measure up to eight kilometers um, with the geophysics. So we have a lot of targets. We think it'll outcrop its surface. We're going to collect that material this summer and process it. We've done some work at SGS. Lakefield, we know we can upgrade it to over 90, to around 95% uh, carbon right now. Um, we need, I think we need more grade, but if we look at some of the other graphite projects in the area, um, it's totally doable and, uh, and, and Quebec's great from a graphite point of view. And uh, the other project we're looking on from that, from that point of view in Quebec is uh, lithium. We recently staked some ground, which was denoted on old maps that we found that were white pegmatites. Uh, the lithium in Quebec are all hosted in white pegmatites, the spodumene. Um, these maps were never digitized that we could see on the Quebec database, and uh, they're left there open. Uh, there's high uh, lithium in the uh, lake bottom sediments and government surveys, uh, down ice. Um, so we think it's a great target, and um, I, I guess we're going to jump on that lithium bandwagon a little bit. But uh, I don't just jump on for no reason. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a really good opportunity there. But the focus is there, though, on battery metals. So Absolutely. Like Fully battery metals. I mean, I think from an ESG point of view, to get uh, mines into production, um, this is the type of commodity uh, that we can get uh, econ you know, license for. Uh, when it comes to building mines. And is there a reason why all your projects are in Canada? Uh, no, I've looked at other areas, but uh, historically we were a Canadian-focused uh, uh, company. But also it's, it's corporate governance and it's the ability, it's one of those things where you have to have the license to operate. And we know we can put mines into production in Canada. Um, there's other places, I worked in Greenland for a long time and built a mine there. And I know I could go back there. Uh, I'm looking, but uh, right now we're focused in Canada. So for investors who are looking at your company for this year, what sort of news releases can they expect? Like what sort of activity 
the things you're working on for the different projects? Activity will be, uh, we're waiting for budget uh, meetings to conclude with uh, uh, Ivanhoe Electric, uh, whether they'll fund a $4 million uh, a drilling uh, program this year. Um, we're looking at um, advancing our Renzi project. We're looking at a potentially a gravity survey. Uh, nickel is associated with dense gravity anomalies. Uh, we're looking at, at that. Um, we're looking obviously at following up the lithium project. Um, and we're looking in BC, we've just been granted a five year exploration permit, which will allow us to drill. So we have to get in on the ground there. Um, that project actually had historically a gram per ton of gold along with copper in a trench, uh, which again is not publicly you know, known. It's in the records, but not wide, widely known. So there's another example of um, doing a little digging and, uh, and then getting in the field to, to, to follow these things up. Literally and metaphorically. Uh, Literally and metaphorically, uh, yes. You'll, you'll be digging into yeah. your... Uh, good, so, so for this, uh, for when investors are looking at uh, your company, there's a lot of activity in the battery metal space and, and you should have a lot of, uh, uh, you're doing any drilling at all? Uh, and also from a budget standpoint, well, how are you well, handling it? It would be a substantial drill program in, in, in Labrador, yeah. um, not funded by us. Um, and then uh, at Renzi, um, potentially, we have drill targets, we want to follow them up. We want to be a bit more careful as to how we target our drilling. Um, it's it's complicated area. So, but. The VTEM survey, the, the electromagnetic survey from last year gave us um, some great targets. Well, thanks for your time today. Uh, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel, and we are speaking with uh, Jamie Tour from Fjordland Exploration.